When Universal Studios Florida opened in June 1990, the only place where you could see the stars and ride the movies offered plenty to guests of all ages. While attractions like Nickelodeon Studios, the fantastic world of Hanna-Barbera, Fievel's Playland, and the E.T. Adventure appealed to younger children, by 1995, the park needed a new addition to its family-friendly lineup. Luckily for Universal, they had an immensely popular Tyrannosaurus Rex ready to make his theme park debut. Uh, no, actually, I'm not talking about that team. Rex, I'm talking about the purple Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's more like it. Officially opening on July 11th, 1995, a day in the park with Barney was the only place where children could meet the purple dinosaur in a stupendous sing-along, clap-along musical show 365 days a year. The live show was based on the children's television series Barney and Friends, which premiered in 1992 on PBS and featured Barney, a purple human-like T-Rex who expressed educational messages through song and dance routines with a friendly, silly, and optimistic attitude. The show became an instant hit with young children, watched by millions to become the number one children's program on public television, leading to tons of merchandise, live shows, and of course, theme park appearances. Before getting his own attraction, Universal had already brought the character to the park in the Barney Street Celebration, a parade that ran from April 3rd to April 18th, 1993. The success of the Street Celebration led the Lions Group, which owned the rights to Barney, and Universal to consider a permanent permanent home for the character at the park. In November 1994, a day in the park with Barney was officially announced, with the attraction to be built on the site of the Bates Motel set, which was closed and demolished just a few months after the announcement. Working closely with Cheryl Leach, Barney's creator, Universal Creative set out to make the show the best toddler experience that's ever been done, with design work stretched out over a year. The attraction was one of the last places where Bob West's voice could still be heard after he retired from voicing Barney in 2000. Leading up to the attraction's opening, Universal ran an extensive marketing campaign, including a cryptic message on 50 billboards throughout Central Florida about the attraction and its opening date, which didn't mention Barney at all and were written in several languages. Besides the billboards, a specially painted Lynx bus touting the new attraction toward the East Coast, featuring sing-along shows and delivering Barney toys to children in need. Initially located in the Expo Center area of the park, Guests make their way through a courtyard with a 10-foot-tall bronze Barney statue standing on one foot inside a fountain and into the pre-show area, which features an odd-looking but colorful house, decked out in pipes, knobs, and doors. Eventually, the owner of the house, Patrick Olysius Bartholomew, or Mr. Peekaboo for short, introduces himself to the guests. While Mr. Peekaboo might seem like an old man who yells at clouds, in spirit, he's more like that of the children who are in attendance for the show. A very close friend to Barney. Peekaboo tries to find the door that will lead guests to Barney's park, but just like an old man, he can't remember which one it is. Peekaboo realizes that everyone will need to use their imagination to get to the park, and tells guests to close their eyes and imagine what the park might look like. The cave's waterfall just to the left of the house stops dripping, and a door opens, revealing that using their imagination has worked. Peekaboo tells everyone that he will meet them inside as guests make their way into the park. Guests make their way inside the actual theater made to look like a park, with an elevated circular stage in the middle with three ramps equally positioned on each side. Peekaboo tells the guests that since using their imagination helped them find the park, maybe using it again will get Barney to appear. Peekaboo asks everyone to chant Barney's name and clap their hands, and when they start to, the lights begin to dim and soft music plays as stars appear in the darkness. With the help of an elevator in the middle of the stage, Barney magically appears, jumping in the air as the lights come up, his theme song playing with confetti cannons exploding full of glitter, an effect added to look just like the animated stars that appear on screen during Barney's transformation on the television show. Happy everyone made it to the park. Barney performs two songs, If You're Happy and You Know It, followed by Imagine a Place. Shortly after those two songs, Baby Bop and BJ join Barney on stage to sing Mr. Knickerbocker, Down on Grandpa's Farm, and If All the Raindrops. After singing those songs, Barney exclaims he's had a wonderful time with everyone, and that there's only one song left to finish off the day. 
the three dinosaurs hold hands and sing I Love You. Baby Bop and BJ make their exits, while Barney ends the show by saying, and remember, I love you. Blowing a kiss goodbye as streamers shoot from cannons behind the hills before heading off to get himself a well-deserved churro. Mr. Peekaboo escorts the guests to Barney's backyard, a toddler-friendly playground with lots of places for younger kids to explore and interact, and the Barney store, where merchandise of the purple dinosaur is sold. While it didn't appeal to teenagers or older adults, the 30-minute live show was a massive hit among families with younger children, a huge plus for the park that was ridiculed as a kid-unfriendly destination when it first opened. As the show promised 365 days a year, a Christmas version of the show entitled A Holiday in the Park with Barney was also performed throughout December to early January, similar to the original but now focusing on holiday songs. The Christmas show had to be revised one year later due to the exhaustion the longer show caused for the performers, removing a few of the holiday songs to help cut down the length. The show quietly became one of the longest running attractions at the park, operating daily for 25 years straight until closing with the rest of the Universal Orlando Resort on March 16th, 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The show re opened with the rest of the resort three months later in June, only to once again close down on August 9th as part of the resort's focus on staffing marquee guest experiences. Barney, Baby Bop, and BJ continued to make appearances as meet and greet characters outside the attraction until vanishing in January 2021. On February 3rd, 2021, via a tweet from Universal Orlando, it was announced that a day in the park with Barney had permanently closed, effective immediately, removing anything related to the attraction started a few weeks later, including the entrance sign, banners, gift shop sign, and the iconic fountain statue. The courtyard and indoor theater were rethemed to DreamWorks Destination, an indoor meet and greet with characters from DreamWorks animation franchises, opening on May 29th, 2021. As odd as it may sound saying out loud, A Day in the Park with Barney was a cornerstone attraction of Universal Studios Florida. For over 25 years, the live show was the only only place where you can meet one of the most famous children characters in a song and dance soiree, one that the purple dinosaur himself would call Super D Duper. While Barney might not be as relevant as he once was back in 1993, I'm sure all of you know that catchy song that you can never ever get out of your head once you hear it. Also, did you know that Selena Gomez portrayed Gianna in season 7 and 8 of the show? The things you learn when you're doing research.